Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. So for today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions that you guys all left in the comments on my last video. So let's get started. How do you interact with suitors that only squeak or don't speak? If a fursuiter doesn't talk, then it's kind of like a game of charades. You're going to have to ask a lot of yes or no questions, and they might have to mime some stuff out to communicate. With fursuiters that squeak, it's a little bit easier because then they can express themselves through different noises, they can change their tone, it's a little bit easier, but kind of the same deal. You want to play a little bit of charades with them, and it's actually kind of fun to do that. What are some of your favorite childhood memories? I'm asking this because it seems like you've lived quite a positive life, and I want to hear how it all began. So actually, some of my favorite childhood memories are literally just seeing my dad. I don't think I've ever discussed this on my channel before, but my dad worked a lot to support me and my five siblings and my mom when I was a kid. So I rarely ever got to see him, so anytime he came home, it was a really special occasion. One thing I always remembered about him was he would always make it to holidays and sporting events. One thing that really stands out in my mind was this one time that he was flying home from Germany, and he hand-carried me and my five siblings all Easter baskets to make it home for Easter and get us chocolate. It was adorable and honestly one of my fondest memories. And honestly, any memory with him is one of my fondest memories, because he's always been super supportive of everything I've wanted to try in my life, including this. Ah! I don't know what to say about how much I adore you. You are so different than others on YouTube, and I just love you so much. Lots of exclamation points. You are my favorite furry of all time, and I wish I can get to meet you. As for the question, how did you get introduced to the fandom, and what made you want to be a part of it? So as far as my actual introduction to the fandom, that's a really long story, and I actually made a video. I'll put a link in the description. As far as what made me want to be a part of it, I always did have this inclination towards anthropomorphic animals. I was raised on Disney, and I always I've always watched a lot of cartoon shows featuring animals, so I think it just kind of developed subconsciously. One of my favorite things was a VHS tape of Robin Hood that I just watched non-stop when I was a kid. Were there any fursuiters that inspired you to get into fursuiting? I really like this question. When I first got into the fandom, fursuits were like this mythical thing to me. So it was kind of cool, I just watched lots of videos of them online. I was always inspired by characters like Telephone and Tayer and um, actually Buddy. I love Buddy. So pretty much the typical fursuiters. Honestly, I get inspired by so many fursuiters, I probably couldn't list them at this point, but those three were the definite big ones that got me into fursuiting. What is your favorite game? Also, what is the best experience you had at a convention? My favorite video game series is Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed. I've just been a huge fan, and I even did a cosplay of it a little while back. I, it was a lot of fun. Probably one of the only large cosplay projects I've ever done. As far as my best convention experience, I actually can't narrow a single one down just because I've had so many interactions with so many people, so it's really hard to single something out. Something that does come to mind, though, was the first time I ever first suited with Telephone. I absolutely had a blast first shooting with her. She was so energetic and it was the first time we had met and we basically just spent the whole day running around making gifts for my Tumblr blog. Just running around all day and having fun for the sake of fun, I think that is one of the best experiences I've ever had. If you could change your persona to a different animal, what would you change it to? Love you in your videos. That is a tough question. I think I'd either change it to a bat or a kangaroo. Those are two of my other favorite animals besides foxes. Also, a bunch of you guys wanted to know who made my new fursuit. Well, it is made by the lovely people at More For Less. They did a fantastic job and I'm so happy with the upgrade. Do you have any other anthropomorphic characters or is Ace your only one? So Ace is my only character, but I would like to eventually make a bat and a kangaroo. Bats just so I can have wings and hug myself, and then kangaroos so I can have a pouch and carry stuff. Have you tried making art or fursuits? If so, how did it go? So I've tried. I can't ever seem to get past the sketch phase of creating digital art. I used to take a design class, but that was more for technical drawings than artistic drawings. I've never really tried to make a fursuit before, but I would like to in the future. What are your most cherished or favorite memories ever since joining the fandom? So I know it's a pretty fresh memory, but actually this past Anthrocon is one of my most cherished memories ever since joining the fandom. My girlfriend Clockwork Coon and I, we both roomed with our friends Pinkie Posh and Catachinos. We met them actually at that convention a year earlier, so it was really cool to stay the weekend with them, and it was just so much fun, I can barely believe that it happened. 
Why more for less? And what do you say to people starting YouTube? Stay cool! So I commissioned my first fursuit from more for less and then I commissioned them again honestly because over time we just became friends and it was really cool to be able to support people that not only I'm fond of their work, but I'm fond of them as people too. And as far as people just getting started on YouTube, I think that's awesome. So to anyone just getting started, good luck to you and just make stuff that you enjoy. What is your motivation tone? So awesome! I admire your positivity, dude. Also, are you funded? If not, I will get my grandpa to help fund you. So I am not funded by anything. I don't have a Patreon and I collect a couple dollars a month of ad revenue. Hi Ace of Hearts Fox, my name is Patrick and I've been following the furry fandom for a while now and I wanted to know will you be doing any more collaboration videos with other furries? Actually yeah Patrick, I've got some video collaborations coming up with people when I meet up with other fursuiters at conventions. I'm not gonna talk about them right now just because they're still in planning stages but I do have more collabs planned. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for asking your questions. I had a lot of fun looking over them and it was really cool to be able to see what you were all curious about. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below and hit the little bell thingy next to the subscribe button so you can get notifications anytime I upload a new video. If you have a question that I didn't answer, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll answer as many as I can. Or I'll just do another Q&A video eventually. But until then, I'm Ace of Hearts Fox and I will see you all in the next video. Pssh!